Hi, my name is Linry, and this is what I bought in August. Now, I'm also going to be talking about the collections that tempted me and my AdSense. <laughs> so, stick around. But first, if you enjoy nail polish related content or someone who's just doing tomfoolery on the internet, please consider hitting that subscribe button. It'd mean oh so much. And thank you, thank you, thank you to the people who have already hit that button. Also, I know a lot of people use these videos to live vicariously through someone who is shopping. If you are on a no buy or a low buy, you've got this. You can hold on to your money. This month, there is a polish everyone is hyping up and next month they will forget about it. Black Friday is right around the corner, guys. It is right around the corner. We are in September now. You've got this. Let's get into it. On the first, I immediately broke my no buy. I knew I was going to break my no buy with this specific polish because I needed to support my friend. <laughs> So I made my first order from Sweet and Sour Lacquer. I purchased So Prugly, It's Frugly, Watermelon, and Banana. I'm just gonna do a quickie little review of all the polishes right now because I'm not gonna do a dedicated video to it. So here we go. Let's start off with Watermelon. Watermelon is this lovely, just soft pink color. I tried to pick it up to force myself to like pinks. I know eventually I'm gonna enter my pink era and it's still not there. This is very much reminiscent of the rind color of a watermelon, and I really, really do like that color, just not on me. <laughs> it's this beautiful flaky bomb, this soft, soft pink flaky bomb that also has iridescent yellow flakies that just catch the light oh so beautifully. I swatched watermelon out in three coats and unfortunately I could still see my visible nail line though I do think that would be resolved with a blurring base coat though I did not enjoy the fact that I could still see my visible nail line with such a heavy heavy flaky formula but that's what a blurring base coat's for. And cleanup is a mess. This is a nightmare. I would suggest a peel off base coat. This, <laughs> I was finding flakies all over my hands, under my nails. It was a nightmare to remove, but I expected that with a flaky bomb. The next polish that is up is banana. Banana is this beautiful yellow flaky bomb with green iridescent flakies in it. Oh my goodness. I bought this knowing I was going to love it and I was fucking right. This is absolutely stunning. Ooh, I can't wait to use this in like a fall mani as like a topper. Are you kidding me? This is going to be a stunning, stunning topper and I'm so excited. Again, even in three coats, I was still able to see my visible nail line. I do not care for that facet of this polish, but with a blurring base coat, I believe that would be completely resolved. Again, I would suggest a peel off base coat for this polish. Oh my God. Removing this polish, I was crying. I was just <laughs> inconsolable. I didn't know what to do with my life. Do I chop off my hand? What do I do? <laughs> I would suggest a peel off base coat, okay? You can soak it off, it's fine. I'm just impatient, okay? And the last polish I picked up is So Prugly It's Frugly. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna put how many times it took me to say this at the end. Nicole, <laughs> you're to blame for this. Nicole Loves Nails in Sweet and Sour made this beautiful, beautiful polish and I was so excited to pick it up. <laughs> Nicole kept hinting to us that something was coming. So I was like, okay, gotta save a little bit of money because Nicole's about to drop something. Let's go. And it is absolutely stunning. It is this beautiful seaweed green jelly base with all the glitters in it. These big round glitters, small star glitters. It is absolutely just so much in a bottle. And I personally don't think it's too much. It feels slightly Christmas to me. And I love that. I've, it feels like a great fall polish and a great Christmas polish. Now, I did swatch this out in three coats and it could not be built to opacity as it is a jelly based polish. So you are supposed to be able to see your visible nail line. But I think this would make an excellent, excellent topper as that first coat laid down with no streakiness whatsoever. So I can't wait to play around with this. And I feel like it's just going to be so beautiful, especially around Christmas. If I can find a great base coat to this to make it a little more evergreen green, oh, this is going to be a lovely topper. I feel like I enjoyed it in two coats far more than I did in three. I feel like three put a lot on my nails. <laughs> 
and I feel like not much changed between two and three coats besides the extra la layer of glitter. <laughs> So I would definitely wear this in two coats and not three. I just wanted to see if it could be built to opacity. Now, as this is a big chonkin glitter polish, oh my God, wear a peel off base. I'm wearing one right now. I'm so scared. Oh, it is what I'm wearing on my right hand, by the way. <laughs> I forgot to mention that. I would suggest a peel off base coat. Oh my God. I can't imagine trying to remove this without a peel off base coat. Um, the nightmares. <laughs> But yeah, peel off base coat. Also, a bunch of us are going to be twinning the Kohl's polish on October 1st. So if you also picked up this polish and would like to twin with all of us, I think calling it twinning at this point is <laughs> very much not using the word correctly. Uh, a bunch of us are just gonna wear it October 1st. So if you'd like to do that as well, there, there you go. Now you have the information. Boop. <laughs> So like I said in my previous haul videos, I like to round up to the nearest dollar. That way there's a little bit more in the bank account. <laughs> Big brain, I know. So on the first, I spent $40 on sweet and sour lacquer. And then I went a very long time without purchasing something. <laughs> on the 31st, I picked up the LA Colors Jelly Collection. I have a link for the review in the cards, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> But I also grabbed a couple other things from Walmart at that time. I also picked up LA Colors Matte Top Coat. I've never seen LA Colors have a matte top coat. I've just never looked for it. So I don't know if this is new or not, but I'm very excited because I want to compare a bunch of matte top coats because Holo Taco is my holy grail. And a lot of people are like, oh, what are your experiences with other matte top coats? And I realized I've only ever had experience with Orly's matte top coat. And the moment I got Holo Tacos, I immediately de-stashed my Orly because Orly left like white specks on my nail and whatnot. Oh, I've also had experience with an Essie, an Essie matte top coat, and I just didn't like it. It didn't retain it, but it was so long ago that I got rid of those matte top coats. I can't really remember. And now I'm much more experienced in nail polish. And I'm wondering, was it a me issue or the top coat? So I want to compare a bunch of matte top coats. TLDR, Jesus Christ, TLDR. I want to compare a bunch of matte top coats. So I picked up the LA Colors one as well. <laughs> and the last polish I picked up was a Sally Hansen Insta Dry, the Rings Pop collab in very Jerry Jelly. It is absolutely beautiful. And because I'm not gonna do a designated video about this, I'm just gonna review it right here. I was impressed. The packaging of this is freaking adorable. And this is a lovely, beautiful, soft jelly. Now, I feel like this was a lot softer and a little more elegant than the LA Colors Heat Wave polish that is also a red jelly. As I could still see my visible nail line through the layers of polish, I did swatch this out in three coats and obviously I was not able to build to opacity. It's a jelly, it doesn't do that, but I really enjoy its soft elegantness and I really think it's gonna come in handy for Halloween nail art if I want to have different layers of opacity. Like if I wanna create different textures on my nails for like blood splatter, I think this is gonna come in handy a lot. And I'm not gonna lie, my fiance mostly picked this up for me because A, Walmart didn't have the brown polish and he felt so bad for whatever reason, he doesn't control Walmart stocking. And we were on the hunt for something and we couldn't find it and he just felt bad. So he's like, oh here, this is cute. He really liked the packaging of this. <laughs> I'm starting to find out my fiance is a packaging hoe and he really just, he he's a sucker for these kinds of things. So am I, but it is absolutely adorable and I'm so happy it's in my collection. And as this is a jelly based polish, it is easily removed with acetone, no peel off base coat required. So on the 31st, I spent $19 on LA Colors and Sally Hansen's. So in the month of August, I spent $60 on nail polish. Not bad, not bad. <laughs> I've spent more, I've spent less. Now I'm gonna talk about the polishes that tempted the ever living crap out of me that I wanted so bad. And uh, for reasons outside of my control, I could not get my hands on. <laughs> At least for the first one, the first one, Sally Hansen and the Reese's collab. I can't find this anywhere. And I know a lot of people are trying to be extremely helpful saying, you can find it at CVS, you can find it at Walgreens. I cannot. 
I can't find it. I understand your CVS might have it. Your Walgreens might have it. My fiance and I checked three different CVSs and three different Walgreens and none of them had this collection. I don't know what Janixa is paying Sally Hansen to get her hands on these damn collections. <laughs> I can't find them for the life of me. I'm just sitting here like, why? There should be Bennies still living in Florida, and here I am just sweating my ass off for no fucking reason. <laughs> I'm sure my CVSs or my Walgreens will have them eventually. I'm hoping I could just grab it from Walmart at some point, but my god, we hunted for that collection, and we could not find it. <sighs> it's so cute, though. It's so cute. The moment I get my hands on it, because I want it bad. The moment I get my hands on it, I'm gonna do a review. Oh, I'm so sad. And the other collab that tempted the crap out of me was Sir Colors and their Jaro. Jaro. I'm so sorry. I'm so, I'm so sorry. That Mexican based soda, I don't even remember its name. I was so tempted by that collab. It was so cute. I love the concept. I love the idea. And I wanted to add a bunch of jellies to my collection. But, but, Sir Colors decided to charge $14.50 a polish. <laughs> I don't care how damn cute your packaging is. It's, a jelly polish is not worth $14. Oh my god. God, I was so tempted. I was gonna pick it up if it was the normal price of $12, but $14.50? It has nothing in it, it's just a jelly polish. If you do not know, jelly polishes are the cheapest to make because it's all suspension base. <laughs> and the less pigment, so they spend less money on these. $14, oh my goodness. So I decided straight up, no, I'm not gonna purchase it. And then a bunch of people discovered that Cirque duped themselves when did their own collection and that their one of the polishes looked like mango jelly and they're like, is it even worth it? What the fuck's happening? I don't know if I'm gonna support Cirque anymore. There's been a lot of drama llama, okay? But those were the polishes that tempted the ever living crap out of me that I wanted so bad and I still want, I still want that Reese's collab. That Reese's collab is so cute. And in AdSense, in the month of August, I made $129.12. I really don't know what's happening with AdSense. I thought I was going to average about $50 a month, and then <laughs> that was going to be my average. I don't know why I've been averaging a over $100 each month. I think I've just had a couple videos that have done unusually well on my channel. <laughs> So I don't know what my average is gonna be. Maybe I have to accept that I'll never be able to figure out what my average is gonna be. Cause the first couple months I was monetized, I made $50 and I was like, sick, this is amazing, this is crazy. So I figured it was gonna be $50 a month every month. <laughs> Turns out I'm a little bit over now. I am super, super excited by that number. I am now officially subsidizing the cost of nail polish with my AdSense, which is so incredible. Oh my God, I never thought I'd be able to do that. <laughs> oh, I do want to start investing a little bit more money in my channel. I think the next major purchase I'm going to make is a sound mixer, as this microphone is a USB microphone, but also it has its own power supply. And the power supply I used for my previous mi uh, microphone was not strong enough. So I think if I get like an actual like soundboard, I'll be able to plug it in and figure it out and hopefully my sound quality will go up. Eventually I will have to replace my iPhone 8, <laughs> but that's a much bigger expense than a sound mixer. <laughs> <laughs> and obviously I need to thank you guys so much for watching my content, enjoying my content. It has been an absolutely incredible experience for me. I'm just so happy. A lot of people are just enjoying my videos. Honestly, that's like when people say I made them laugh, it just like makes my fucking day. I cannot believe it. I'm like, oh my God, <laughs> I made someone laugh? What the fuck? <laughs> But yeah, what all did you purchase in August? Or what did you wear in August if you are on a no buy? I hope you enjoyed my video. Bye. And the last polish I picked up is It's So... And the last polish I picked up is So Fruggly It's... And the next... And the last polish I picked up is it's oh, for fuck. So prugly, it's frugly. So prugly, it's frugly. So prugly, it's frugly. So prugly, it's frugly. And the last polish I picked up was it's.
Stop saying it's. It's not it's. So prugly, it's prugly. 